Artemis Fowl. There are so many ways to describe him. From criminal mastermind to the friend of the fairies, Artemis Fowl is truly a remarkable mudman or, you know, child genius. But right now he's delusional and paranoid? What in the world? Hello fellow bookquesters, it is I, Aram the Bookquester. Today I have this awesome, epic fantasy book for you guys today. Artemis Fowl and the Atlantis Complex by Ian Colfer himself, criminally good as always. And well, let's get right on to it. This book is about Artemis Fowl, teenage genius and criminal mastermind. This time he's actually trying to do some good. He's come up with a project that would stop the Arctic from melting down, and he has presented the idea to the fairies. And the fairies are saying okay. But Artemis Fowl is now delusional and paranoid. He has a rare, um, something like OCD basically. It's called Atlantic Complex. And it basically means that he's guilty and he always feels like, for example, if he, he sees fours and everything, and he thinks fours means death, so for example, if there's four people on the team, that's bad. If, for example, the team is made of 16 people, that's a multiple of four, four, that's bad. And he thinks that five is the best number, five is a perfectly good number, and jeez, he's paranoid and delusional. And then, he doesn't trust Butler, so he sent Butler far, far away to, to with a lie. It's... It's a legitimately ridiculous. And this time, something is happening other than Opal Kaboy. Turnball Root. Julius Root's legendary brother, who is, in fact, a criminal mastermind. And with his devious planning, he manages to escape prison in Atlantis. And now, we have a real problem in our hands. We have a delusional Artemis who occasionally calls himself Orion, the exact opposite of of Artemis, a hormone controlled teenager who is attracted to anyone even slightly attractive and basically a big idiot who's maybe sometimes useful. And now we have a real big problem. We don't have Artemis follow the scheming genius who we who we could usually depend on to use his intellect to destroy any villain's plot but we have a delusional one and we have a criminal mastermind who is super super smart so i would say we have a little bit of a problem could holly short mulch diggums butler and juliet and artemis fowl who's a little bit delusional and so and you know calls himself orion all the time could they stop Trimble with devious plot and he isn't joking. He will destroy Atlantis, the underwater fairy city, if they can't stop him. And he's also a master of runes, and with those runes, he could enslave anyone he could want. And that includes a particular warlock, a particular fairy captain, and a particular teenage genius. Want to find out what happens? Read the book. And like always, your bookquester, Aaron the Bookquester. Awesome book, as usual, Artemis Fowl is enjoyable. And as we have found out, in the last book, there's a little short story about Holly Short and Julius Root capturing Turnball Root. And, well, he's back, and he's bad as usual. But maybe, just maybe, he, he has a little bit of decency and he just loves his wife, who happens to be a human. Well... We'll find out, won't we?